What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, checking in from Beanie Central. I know it's not my normal setup, but I hope you'll appreciate the extra effort. I've got to get up really early and be on a plane in the morning, but the last thing I want to do is leave you all without some content to help get through the day. If you're in America, this is the week of Thanksgiving, and I hope that you're going to spend it with your family, and I hope that you won't let any crazy people tell you you can't. That said, what's not crazy would be if you click that red subscribe button down below the video right now. Whether you're watching on YouTube, Rumble, BitChute, or Odyssey, I'm really glad you're tuning in, and I really hope that you'll subscribe. Now, more and more information is coming out about Cyberpunk 2077, including a new silly attempt to cancel CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk 2077 for, of course, the same tired old garbage, but we're going to point and laugh at that in just a minute. But we did find some new information via Paul Tassi on Forbes about how long Cyberpunk 2077 actually is. He says 175 hours is a, quote, slow-paced, hard difficulty Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough. I, for one, am absolutely, absolutely excited to hear this. That means that this game must be jam-packed with content and have an enormous amount of things to do. Now, does that mean you can speed run the game in 30 hours? Maybe. Maybe if you're playing on game journalist mode. But ultimately, 175 hours, I like to take my time with games and explore side quests and explore different characters, which means CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077 is going to keep people entertained well through Christmas and into 2021, a time when we're all going to need something interesting to play. And also, that doesn't take into account the multiplayer mode that we're going to see rolled out as well. The final size of Cyberpunk 2077 remains to be seen, but even though it's supposed to be, quote, smaller than The Witcher 3, it's still going to be much denser. And also, what small means for a CDPR game is on another plane of existence, given that even the DLCs from the studios are larger than most full-size games. And look, this is a, I, I, you know, I don't want a game that's just long to be long. I don't think anybody wants that. But in an era of having four to seven hour campaigns and games that cost $70, it sure is amazing to see this level of value for exactly the same price. Now we have a glimpse of how much there is to extract from Cyberpunk 2077 in terms of total playtime. I'm not sure if these tweets will end up being deleted, but the QA leader for CD Projekt Red just posted that he spent 175 hours in the game. According to him, this was a slow-paced playthrough on hard difficulty where, quote, I play more stealthy than usual, loot everything, use every feature the game has to offer, and I take my time. In short, kind of how the game was meant to be played. So maybe this means you can play CD Projekt Red through in 50 hours if you want to blast through it. Some people like to get all the way through it and kind of experience everything, then go back and play again. I've talked many times on this channel about how one of the biggest regrets I have is in Red Dead Redemption 2, I read about like a gold glitch or a silver glitch early in the game and I, I, I used it. I don't even know why, but then that was like in the first five hours of the game. And then for the rest of the game, money was never an issue for me, which meant looting was never an issue for me, which meant that taking particular jobs was never really an issue for me, which meant I didn't have to survive with the worst possible weapon. Like in 2021, I really want to go back through and replay that game the way that it was meant to be. And then you see that there are some more interesting questions being answered about Cyberpunk 2077, 11 burning questions, but I don't really have any quote unquote burning questions for Cyberpunk 2077 outside. Why exactly is it being canceled again? You see several new pushes for this. If you tell somebody, literally the game points out how corporations will exploit trans people can actually, can you actually explain to me how that makes them phobic? Of course, replying to more and more hate. Would be cool if someone organized an anti-cyberpunk 2077 bundle on itch full of games by POC and queer indie game devs where all the money is split between these devs and it launched the same day as cyberpunk and costed the same amount 
and we discouraged people from supporting CDPR. Again, there's never been any real information as to, as to why they are supposedly phobic outside of a joke that uh, the, the woke community didn't like, to which this person gets responded, of course. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm 100% certain that no game made by an indie creator on itch is going to be anywhere near as good as Cyberpunk 2077, and I think you're grossly over-exaggerating how phobic it is. So I'm going to buy CDPR's game. Sorry, not sorry. And you just get people who keep spreading this, um, you know, voice or spreading this lie. Leaked Cyberpunk 2077 footage confirmed they haven't changed the quote, pronouns are tied to your voice tone. Even after all the black backlash, with which extremely sucks, and confirms that CDPR don't deserve the benefit of giving them the break. And you see, I implore anyone who has any respect for trans people to boycott this game, as I have been for some time now. It's openly phobic and will absolutely be apparent in Cyberpunk game. They've had tons of chances to prove otherwise, and then they've ignored them all. See, the same people who are now calling to boycott Cyberpunk 2077 haven't really provided any actual evidence of anything other than anecdotal, like, pseudo-anger rage stuff. So I don't even get what these people are angry about. But, you know, if you want to experience absolute insanity, you can see, again, today... Sadie Project Red is a phobic company. It's time we stop making excuses for them. How about just a few of these big-brained takes? All the drive-by posting and even admitting to piracy and nobody gets warned or banned only because a studio seems to be phobic? You are all overreacting like always. If someone something tiny doesn't fit your mindset, it's phobic, it's phobic. y'all live in a bubble. You can call me all the things you want. I don't care. I'm not, and I know that. I have nothing against this community. Stop punting down people that don't share your same mindset. Nobody's perfect, and sharing your opinion is not allowed here. My ban will prove that. Goodbye, of course. User was immediately banned. You can see this. To all of you who think this, who are all considering burning your account like this a-hole, or if you just sit there and nod your head, our mindset is simply being treated like humans. To not be special or anything like that, our mindset is to be just another person who can sleep and not fear others' judgments. So you organize boycotts and hate mobs via your uh, Reset Era forum. So you make mountains out of molehills uh, because the game doesn't bend over backwards and cater to you specifically. I thought you just wanted to be treated like any other person. It sounds to me like you want special treatment. So when you have to think about it's so demanding us to have to consider us humans, you are did it as evil as the bad guy from WW2. And for thinking that others are not worthy as being seen as just another man, woman, or person bas ba passing on the street. Now, nobody's saying that though. These people, these outrage merchants, are experts in gaslighting and strawmanning. Nobody's saying trans folks aren't people, and especially on my channel, I, I accept all humans. Uh, and love everybody that watches my content. By the way, there's a red subscribe button right down below the video. Please consider clicking it so you can get all the latest on Cyberpunk 2077, Hollywood news, tech news, hardware, software, just about anything you could possibly be interested in. I would strongly, strongly appreciate the subscription. How about this one? The fact that you felt the need to go out of your way to copy and paste this post, which you specifically made in a spoiler thread, into this thread, specifically about C CD Projekt Red's phobia, shows that you actually do have something against trans people. You wanted to make sure ERA's trans community saw your garbage rant. Your ban was well earned, and yes, you are phobic. Good riddance. I know you are reading this because you're either obsessed with us or an active member here with a burner account. You're not only phobic, but you're a coward, said the person to someone who's also been bad. And this, I mean, just goes on and on and on. There are hundreds of posts. Reset Era is, is probably the most vile den of uh, entitled gamers maybe ever. You can see this one back to 4chan with you. Former member, they, them, and the pronouns, of course. 
better to endure hundreds of Wojak edits than a single era poster. I mean, it goes on and on and on. This is this is exactly what these people are. But they're just they, they have literally nothing to be outraged by, but they are bending over backwards to try and do it. Look, CD Projekt Red, I support you. That's why I bought your game on GOG.com. I'm looking forward to streaming it with my viewers, hopefully on release night, uh, right here on YouTube or over on Twitch. And uh, I thank everyone at CD Projekt Red for all their hard work and for the extra patience they have to put with this, put up with, with the special people of Reset Era. And by the way, on a personal note, these people doxed one of my employees and that employee's grandparents were getting phone calls, calling him all sorts of terrible things because he made a joke they didn't like. That is the forum that's telling us how to act like humans. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.